All right, as we pack it in here, I guess we'll start saying hi to some of you. Whale Shark is in the building, just back from a huge shopping spree on the Nifty Gateway Avenue. Uh, welcome, glad you could make it here with us. These Zelcor guys are awesome. They, they listen. I think you're gonna like these guys, um, and and so will all the other guys that are looking for where to store this whale because. One whale needs to be kept safe now. So um, I've been using this wallet for a little bit. Um, I like it. The, with the addition of whale, I like now that I find myself with a little bit more USD value than yesterday. I want to know how to, you know, what what to do with it. Where should I put it? And this place, um, it has the whale news. Like um, whale sharks tweets go there. You can you can do some swaps. You can store your other coins. So I'm interested to see what where they're going with this. Um, cause it's, it's, it's a little bit interesting new concept than what we're used to using, uh, with the, with our private keys and seed phrases and all these things that, that, you know, are, are not your everyday, uh, way to hold money. So, you know, name and password are things that kind of are more ubiquitous to us. So I'm interested to see what, what, what these guys, uh, have in store. So maybe we'll give them one more minute, uh. Let me see how many people are in here. So a few more, one more minute just to get enough people to click to watch the live stream that uh, Agent Smith has on, because that's the view to the wallet and anything that, that they want us to see. So make sure you click on his name and watch stream. Just one more minute and we'll start up. Let's, should we do an airdrop and while we wait? <laughs> All right, nice. We got almost 30 people watching the live stream. So you guys definitely want to know how to keep this whale safe. <laughs> so uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you Agent Smith. He has his screen on. He's a part of the Zell team. Um, let us know a little bit about yourself. Thank you for the first. Thank you for coming over. Thank you uh, for the whale integration. Thank you just for for building. Period. Right. Uh, 100% I think that sentiment is shared across our whole community and take it away, sir. Um, you can hear me all right? Yep, one loud and clear. Yeah, first of all, I want to thank everybody for attending tonight. It's taken time out of your busy schedule to come check out Zellcore and Zell, what we're doing over there. And uh, yeah, Brent has, who is one of our business developers, is really fond of your community and I can see why seems like it's very vibrant people are engaged and i really like that so um a little bit about me so i've been in the space for quite a while um you can follow me on twitter uh cypherpunk um you can also follow zell under underscore core and you can get all of our tweets and stuff like that um zell core uh was kind of born because of necessity essentially uh back in the day you had a wallet and you had uh it was almost a heart-stopping process to send a transaction and uh we wanted to get into a position to where we had a multi-asset platform that you could hold multiple cryptos uh coins themselves but also tokens as well and then also as we continue to keep progressing nifties and items like that so zelcor really gives you a, a, a it's the gate decentralized gateway to blockchain so um again i am the uh, chief strategy officer for zell zell is a an asset as well um in in the wallet and you can see the wallet here uh on your screen right now our goal was to almost have an Apple-esque feel to this. So there is a level of simplicity to it, but it also is very robust and complex at the same time. So 
advanced users will have all the features that they're used to and they want and our beginning users are novice who are coming into the space uh maybe this is the first time you had whale you had whale coin and our whale token and you're you know you want to as you said keep it safe well zelcor is the place place to be so this is this is essentially zelcor um this is uh once you've gone in and put in your username and password uh our accounting system is a little bit different than everyone else because you know people say well why don't you use c phrases or things like that well we actually use a combination of a username and a password salts that are hashed together cryptographically and that is your wallet private key now it's it's actually called hd wallets hi hi hierarchical deterministic wallets and essentially your crypto is always on the blockchain and zelcor is the gateway to, to access that so uh it's a very clean view. Um, it, like I said, almost Apple-esque. We wanted something very simple. We are available on all platforms. So you can, everything from Apple and uh, Android to iOS to uh, Linux to you name it, we've got it. And it's uh, available across all platforms. Another nice feature is the fact that Zellcore, you can have multiple devices. So you can log into it on your computer as I am right now. And I could log in, in into the exact same account on my cell phone. And you can go across different platforms. You could have a cell phone. You could have a tablet. You could have a desktop, two, two desktops, three desktops, whatever. And, and you're all accessing the same, same account and same um, you know, assets. So uh, just in, as you come in, some of the creature comforts that we have in Zellcore is it's a, it's a fairly seamless uh, uh, user, user interface. Now I'm on desktop right now, so I'll show you, show you one of the things that works really, really well on desktop that I enjoy. And that is uh, you have your standard, almost, you know, if you've used a multi-asset platform before, it almost has that same uh, feel as the other multi-asset platforms, but I prefer personally more of a mobile view. So I can scrunch this down and now I have a mobile view of the actual uh, platform itse itself. And when you're ready to do more uh, robust things, you can spread it out there and you can check it out. Another thing is, is you can hide your balance of your portfolio, which is really important. Uh, if you're pulling up your portfolio and someone's standing there and you want to show them your Zellcor, you want to show them something, you can like great like 33 people <laughs> yeah like 33 people uh, well you're gonna see my you're gonna see my portfolio tonight but that's okay this is just this is just the, this is our practice account this is what we use for our practice so um so it, it does gray it out and you can see underneath there you can then click it and it will provide you a, a pie chart with your different assets so you can see your ethereum you can see bitcoin you can see zell i think i got a little raven in there um and, which is nice as well and if you prefer to see BTC, you can you can also have that display in BTC uh, the value of the of of, of the uh, portfolio. So let's let's jump in here and we're going to look at Whale here in a second, but we're going to look at Zell first because Zell has because they've been this is kind of we've it's our asset we've been developed in. You're going to see all the features here. Whale is a little bit n newer, so you're going to uh, some of the news aggregation that comes in may not be there yet until uh, we get that. Uh, until we get that set up. So let's take a look at Zoe. Okay. Now, the nice thing about this is we built this platform not to just be a, uh, a utilitarian uh, platform. We want people to engage with this multiple times in a day. So we have a nice little price tracker down here. Also gives you information about the, the, the actual uh, asset itself, what it is. Um, you know, it gives you a little rundown on your price, your 24-hour volume, your maximum supply, your circulating supply, and your market cap over here. And then you also have your news over here. So here's a recent article about us integrating BitPay. And you can scroll down and you can check out the news of uh, what's going on with that particular project. Your transactional area up here is where, where you can click on that and you can see the transaction. So in this case, you know, uh, I got 25,000 Zelle today, I got 954 com confirmations and there's your TID. Mm -hmm. If you click that, it will open it in, in our Explorer so that you can check it out. Um, we have- right, in, right in the wallet? Right in the wallet. Well, this, this it, I don't know. No, it copies it to the clipboard and then you can open it up on uh, the uh, a website. 
and that'll that'll take you to our explorer and you'll be able to check that out so and then you can just click that back up and the other nice thing is you can put payment notes in here as well so this guy won uh, a giveaway and he actually won a graphics card uh, and we gave him uh, the 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 do US dollar amount in Zelle so that he could buy his graphics card and we sent him a note that says uh, congrats on your win. So that well, was kind of cool. Yeah, we're looking so forward was... to we're, we're looking forward to getting the rest of the PC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. So um, another another nice feature is uh, built-in exchange right here. So um, well, we'll get to that in a second. Let's keep digging with this portfolio here a little bit. So um, one of the things, if you want to, you know, obviously you have the receive. You get your QR code. You get your address there. You can co copy that. The other thing that's really cool as well is if you have somebody that you know that needs you would like to request a payment amount so say i'm gonna get five thousand sell for somebody you can request that payment and it will open up in i don't see you guys are not going to be able to see this uh let me think how to do this uh well i'm gonna let you guys play with it but it'll open up in what's called coin request is is a plat part of our platform now and it will actually send a request to an email address to a twitter account to any any social media platform that you want it'll actually send that request so if i take somebody out to dinner and um they're going to give me five thousand zell back um i can send them a coin request and say hey uh as a reminder you need to you know hook me up and send me some uh some zell back so uh, that's one of the nice things, and that's built right in here, request payment does. That's our coin request. Um, another nice little feature is if you're gonna send, uh, you're, you're going to have uh, decentralized two-factor authentication. So one of the other parts of the project that we uh, focused on was obviously we wanted to be completely decentralized and we rely on two-factor authentication from Google or Microsoft or whoever it is you're using your uh, two-factor authentication. Zellcore doesn't do that. Zellcore actually uses a, the blockchain for two-factor authentication. So there's no third party that hold, that can, you know, you could be SIM swapped or any any of that kind of, kind of uh, uh, BS. This is, this is straight to the blockchain. You would put your, you would put your, uh, in this case, you would put your, your pin in, and you would verify it and now you can send your transaction so this is when you're sending your transaction and you're, you're spendable you have a spendable amount up here you have a destination address here and you can also have you also have contacts you can put if you have regular people that you send or uh, uh, transact with you can put them in as a contact as well and down here you can add a payment note so uh and that would show up on their on their transaction uh as well now another cool thing about this area here is we have what's called uh crux integrated into this and they're human readable addresses so in my case my crux id is daniel at zell dot crux mm -hmm. and we're gonna do 100 Zell, and we're going to go ahead and say testing, and we're going to hit send. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to take that Daniel at Zell.crux and it's going to find my actual public key, which is now you now see it, and it is now sent. So that actually sent it. Now, if we close that, we should see that come back into um, our transactions here in a second. Okay. So what what because this is uh, it's obviously a little bit different than ENS names, because or what is the what I want to know is what is the difference? <laughs> completely, completely different. For one thing, mm -hmm. they only work on the Ethereum network. We work on every single asset that's held in Zellcore. Zell so um, how many it, assets is that, by the way? Um, we have coins, about two hundred and forty-five of those, uh, but we hold over thirty-seven thousand different assets with the um raven asset layer the uh neo and their net five um ontology and their asset layer uh so so we if you if you take a look here and go back we'll jump into raven real quick uh raven actually has an asset layer that they have here as well um uh, so in this case i have raven coin 95 and i i have raven asset for sale.com which is 11. i have some boss coin and even some raven land um and these are all these are all uh, Raven assets. So 
in the Raven on the Raven asset layer. So for the least lesser blockchain inclined among those are like ERC twenties on Raven. Yes. Or okay. Yeah, you perfect. could you you could say that. And the nice thing about Zelcor, and we just rolled this feature out now not too long ago is you can import an Ethereum token directly into uh, Zelcor. So say there's an Ethereum token token that we don't support natively, and you still want to be able to see your asset and you still want to have it in Zelcor, you can now go in and you can import that contract and you can bring that right into Zelcor. Um, and here's, you can take a look at our, our assets. These are natively supported assets. These are assets that are actually uh, supported by, um, by Zelcor itself, and then you got the asset layer on top of that. So, and these are Ethereum network tokens. These are coins. These are uh, we support pretty much every single one of the um, uh, tethered pairs or the GUSD and all that kind of good stuff. Um, we we have a few stuff. fans of uh, DPoS uh, systems like Tezos. Um, is that is that something you support or would add? Uh, Tezos is on our road map. I believe it's already, well, you guys heard it here first. We'll the teaser. It's, all, <laughs> yeah. it's, all, it's, it's already complete. Uh, we're, we're in the process of, uh, we'll roll it out here before too long, but it, but it is in our arsenal. So we have it for release soon. We don't, we don't leak alpha here. All right. We, That's we, all right, man. <laughs> I wouldn't tell you if it was that, if, if it was that confidential, but, uh, <laughs> So uh, yeah, so that's the that's kind of the portfolio view. Um, one of the things that we do now, I don't have any whale coin, um, mm -hmm. but it, it, so in this case, you're going to see whale coin disappear. But one of the things we do um, is we we have a, an option called Smartify, and what Smartify does is it actually looks through your entire wallet and makes sure that it puts all of your assets in your portfolio, which is cool. Uh, it uh, so if you Smartify it, it's going to say you want to hide non-zero balances and only put uh, a particular assets that I actually own. So oh, you hit uh, smart. Whale you shark hit... just whale shark just sent you ten whales. So so the next time we do this this, this presentation, we 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 have some whale ready to go. Awesome! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, Smartify is almost done, and now you'll notice that whale isn't there because I don't. Well, but I have all these other coins in here as well. So it clean it cleaned everything up and and now it's nice and neat and clean. If you want to manually add an asset, you can go in here and add asset and you can just type it in. And right there is whale and we add it back in again. The other feature that's nice is creature comfort is if this is all slidable, so you can move these around. First, and you can play. oh no, oh, okay. All right. I'll, we'll be second to Zell. We'll be second to Zell. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're not gonna put you in the first place here. I, I, they, they, they'd can me if I if I did. So all right, I uh, get that. <laughs> so now that I've smartified all of my assets, they're all nicely lined up here. That's that's actually what I'm holding in my portfolio right now. Another cool creature comfort about Zelcor is it's most platforms you have one portfolio. With Zelcor, you have lots of portfolios and you can create different portfolios with Zellcore Plus as well and you can uh, have different uh, wallets. Now why why is that important? In this in this case I have my primary which is Dan's wallet. I have somebody that sent me a donation for a teaser video that we're going to work on so I wanted to keep that separate. I have uh, my pool address which is over here mm -hmm. and uh, I have um, uh, another random uh, amount of Zell here that I don't even know what it's from, but it's here. Uh, but you can continue to ki kind of uh, add different portfolios. So say I you wanted that. to have a portfolio for everyday use, and then you wanted to have one that was for, um, you know, uh, savings, long-term savings or something of that nature, then that, that would be where you would want to go for that. So that's that's our portfolio in a nutshell. So uh, or or the or the landing page, and that's only one small. You can also hide your assets, and you could also, if you have another wallet that you'd like to import, you can do that as well. I really like that that multiple uh, view of of the one portfolio. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, it it it, it, it it's nice because you can you can. You know, I always do this when I look at my main portfolio. I like to put things away and store them as well. So it's nice to have those different options. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I, yeah. I, I usually put them like, uh, will spend, going to spend, going to spend tomorrow. <laughs> That's how I set up my my eve. <laughs> yeah, really. I know, right? Um, one of we have a couple other features here um, that that are that are kind of important. Um, so uh, the tax man cometh, so we can uh, we're already set up to export all of your transactions to CSV. So and you pay your taxes. Uh, they like you do the, you do that, so we can make it very easy for you. You can export those transactions to CSV and hand them off to your accountant, and he'll take care of the rest or yourself, mm-hmm. uh, like mm-hmm. me. Um, you can also that. to support a different project, or if you have a privacy-based asset, you can actually launch a full node and send private transactions. The wallet that w- is you're viewing now is considered a light address, but the full node is available as well. You can create your contract contacts in there as well. So you can add different people and make sure that you can send to them regularly. Uh, you can refresh all of this information in this screen to make sure that it's up to date. Um, I don't know what change mode is. I guess I can click one. Oh, it just changes the view. Okay, so it's just change mode. So it just kind of moves everything around. So some people might prefer it like this or some people might prefer it like this. And then uh, one of the other things is you can look, we have Zell nodes, which is a decentralized computational network. You can actually click on here and it's not gonna bring it up because you guys can't see it, but you could take a look at uh, Zell nodes and what's going on with the Zell nodes right out of your wallet. So that's a little bit about the portfolio. And then we get into the exchange area. So the exchange area, what we've done is we've integrated all uh, a good a good many of the primary exchanges. So we got Binance, Kraken, Bittrex, uh, Stex, Gemini, KuCoin, and Binance Dex. Okay. And then we also the the Quick Swap exchanges as well, which is Coin Switch, Insta Swap, Changely, and Kyber. Now, if you want to do a real quick exchange and you say you want to just get some Zell, so let's go in here. We'll click Coin Switch. Good. Very I simple. Want, I, I want to see this part because I I have the wallet, but I haven't attempted a a swap. So. Super easy, man. It doesn't get any easier. And we made it made it very simple so that anyone could do it. We want to tell them what we want to sell. We're going to sell Bitcoin. And we're going to tell them what we want to buy. And we're going to buy Zelle. And all the magic happens in the background. It goes out. Okay, well, now it's saying that it had a problem. Let's, let's pick another pairing. Coin switch might be having an issue. So let's say we want to get Raven. Okay. So we're going to grab Raven. Uh, first of all, you agree to the terms and you say, um, let's get 250 Raven, which is $5. It's going to show you here what, what the amount is. So you're going to spend about USD $5.42 and you're going to get $5.33 in Raven back. And then all you do is click the begin exchange. It's under the requirements. Of course it is. And I don't want to buy any more than that. But it would but what would what would pop up is it would say, you know, that the the well, let's just do it for you guys. It's for you guys. <laughs> You're gonna drop it in chat <laughs> after you get it. <laughs> under requirements. Uh I don't know what the requirements are, so let's do oh, ten thousand a thousand. And there you can see it says it's the trade started. So you'll see up here at the top as well. And now, now it's going to break it down for you. The exchange is in process. It's going to show you what you spent. It's going to show you what you bought. It's going to show you when it was created and it's valid. So it'll give you an, an order number. And then you can come back and check this on a regular basis to see how far along the, the trade is. So right, And right here is your coin switch address. And that's your receiving address where the Raven will be sent. If I close this, now you'll see it down here that, that it's pending. And if you want to check it out, you just go in, you click the little gear wheel, and there you go. That's that's how simplistic it is to make a trade right here, right out of Zellcore. Nice. Uh, and you can do that for any one of these. Uh, Kyber is Ethereum. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know if anybody's used Kyber before in, uh, in the past. but I like Kyber. Uh, I've gotten a few coins from Kyber that are uh better rated there than than others than other places. But, what's uh, the what's the new one now that's so popular? Mooniswap? 
or one in one inch exchange. Mm. Uh, well, really popular. I mean, it's not uh, Uniswap. The Uniswap, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, that, so... that pink icon. I, I need to see a pink icon in here. Can you? Can we expect? It's gonna that? be. It'll probably be right here. So oh, yeah. Keep, keep your eyes peeled over the next uh, next month or so, and I think you'll see something right over here beside Kyber. Nice. Um, so let's take a look at one of these uh, centralized exchanges. So the Binance Dex is uh, is a decentralized exchange, but these are uh, like let's take a look at KuCoin. Um, we're going to continue with with some of those um, with some of these uh, new exchanges, decentralized exchanges. They have like add liquidity is that something that you're fully going to integrate when when uniswap comes around maybe it's something uh it's it's on our radar uh uh brent especially uh is a uniswap guy he loves it so uh i think he's kind of twisted our arms uh to, to get us to push in that direction gotcha gotcha i need to talk to brent more yeah you do he knows all the stuff man he, he, he keeps me in the loop um right. So in this case, if you're uh, uh, if you're going to go into a, a centralized exchange, you you would go in first and you would get your API key. If anybody's ever traded or used a bot in the past, it's very simplistic. Go into the exchange, create an API key, put your secret here, put your password here, and then you hit connect to API. In this case, we're going to connect as a spectator, just so you can see um, the scenario. And wouldn't you know it? Here it is. It's Zell. Uh, oh wow! Full, it's That's full trade. It's a full trading view. And uh, if 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 I was logged in, you would see the login information down here. You could make you make trades directly out of this platform. You can look at the order book, the book depth. You can look at the market history, and you can chart it as well. Um, so everything you do can do on the exchanges you can do right here in Zellcore. And the nice thing about it is you, you never leave the platform. Uh, we do offer one-click withdrawal as well. So instead of being a having a pain in the ass of going to the exchange and then uh, removing your uh, Zell from the exchange and bringing it back to Zellcore and all that kind of stuff, we can do it right here in Zellcore where you would just move it from wallet A to wallet B and it would be off exchange and in your wallet. Our goal is to make sure that it's uh, you stay here, you trade here, and uh, yeah, this is kind of your one-stop shop. So that's that's a little bit what the centralized exchanges look like. Okay, that's dope. I mean, there's some a little something for everyone for the chart watchers, for the for the people that like buy and sell button only. <laughs> yeah, and if you if you like if you're using KuCoin here as well, and you just want to do a real quick market swap, uh, this this area over here, you would click swap, and you could actually just do a real quick market swap without putting you know orders in or anything like that. It's just real, um, it's real seamless. It's real easy, and you're not going to pay the fees that are associated with some of the the quick swap exchanges because that's a convenience fee, really, is what it is. So this is more like, for lack of a better word, an automated way. You click swap and it kind of puts your order in through the exchange for you without the yes. Oh, that's yeah. your order in yeah. through the exchange for you without the answer. Oh, that's. Ooh, sorry about was... that. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay. So yeah. So we took a look at KuCoin and then if you go in here, we'll take a look at the Binance Dex real quick. Um, that's that's a pretty neat in in uh, integration right there. I like that. Yeah. So in this case, this is now. So this is trading on the DEX. Uh, you can buy and you can sell. And if I had BNB in this wallet, uh, you notice that I didn't have to go through the API login process because it is a DEX, uh, or you got, I guess you could call it a DEX. Um, you can go in here and you can just trade directly with BNB, which is kind of cool. And then, so that's our that's our quick swap exchanges. And then we get down into the real nitty gritty of what Zellcore is, and that is our, our decentralized applications. We're gonna continue to keep adding these dApps, and there's several that are uh, in the process of launching. Um, but in, in this case, you have Zell ID, which is your easy log on. You can sign a message, um, and you can do other things uh, right there with your Zell ID. That uh, you would use it 
my the first thought is uh you know it's like to prove ownership of an address or something like that yes yeah so it's gonna uh, that that is your personal uh id so that uh, that's that's how you can um we call it self-sovereign id or what uh, whatever what have you so that's mm -hmm. that's that's how you uh um that's how you log in prove, prove yourself okay okay uh we got zelcor plus here uh, which you click on Zellcore Plus, you can go in and you can you can buy different you know uh, you can buy uh, you can use your voucher here, which we have some vouchers we're going to give away today. Uh, you can also gift a purchase of Zellcore Plus, and it kind of breaks down what exactly it is. So you got your this wallet. Is, this part is a little bit new now that we're here. Um, mm -hmm. What are the features that that you know what what are what what do we get for four bucks a month? I know it says it there in green, but if you explain it. Yeah, so you're going to get the full chart UI. You're going to get the API access. You're going to get be able to import your addresses. Um, you can import and add an, any Ethereum token. You can do a full um, exchange. Uh, all the full exchange features are available. Um, you know, the online uh, transaction notification. So uh, if, if we receive an asset, you'll get a nice little notification down here saying that you received it and that will go across to all platforms. Um, a portfolio tracker, you can, which uh, we'll take a look at here in a second, you can create your uh, own portfolio tracker and then you can also have your Zell nodes, uh, uh, your overview of your Zell nodes as well. So. Yeah, you get a lot it, a lot of bang for your buck. Uh, you can also, if you hold uh, 5,000 Zelle and, and uh, your wallet, you'll automatically get Zelle Core Plus for free. So okay. we call that uh, 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 staking for a service. So okay. uh, essentially you hold 5,000 Zelle. If you have 4,999, there's Zelle Core Plus. 5,000, you get Zelle Core Plus for free, which is nice. Okay. Gives, gives okay. back to the community. And 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 Zell Zell Core Zell has has a function also that that uh, it helps to reduce the fees or something, right? Uh, we, uh, we well, it would Zell essentially will behave like BNB, like it will could reduce fees. You can also mm -hmm. pay, you also pay uh, in Zell to to add Zell Core Plus if you want to do that. So for from a use case standpoint, you know we're adding additional use cases. If, if you want to buy it, uh, or if you purchase it for someone else, or buy it for yourself, you can do that. Um, you can do that with Zelle, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and a couple other cryptos. So you don't have to actually use fiat to get get the application. Okay. You better you better trademark staking as a service as, if you haven't already, because a few people like the idea already. It's a <laughs> it's a pretty cool. Uh, it's not a buzzword, but I mean, we see a lot of people staking, and they're saying, "All right, stake the asset." Well, how about this? How about you stake the asset? We'll give you a service in return. I think yeah. it's a little. Yes, returns are nice, but sometimes it's nice to have things. Okay. So. Well. Um, Crux Pay uh, that we talked about earlier. That's your human readable um, address. So mine is Daniel at Zell dot dot Crux, and uh, you can go in there and you can set that up and to receive any of the assets. Uh, Zell nodes. If you click on Zell nodes, this will populate all the Zell nodes, and this might take a while because I, oh no, it popped right up. I don't have any. Uh, I don't run my nodes out of this wallet, so it would list, if I had all my Zelle nodes, it would list all the Zelle nodes here, and then you can see where all the Zelle nodes are in the world. They're all kind of all over the place. You, we have three tiers of nodes. We have the basics. We have uh, each one of these has computational resources that are required from it. So can you give basic, us the, 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 the basic uh, uh, definition of, uh, of a node and why it's important? Like, in the well, blockchain sense, yeah. Yeah, and normally in blockchain, if you look at Bitcoin and you look at their node structure, um, it it, su it supports the network. So what it does is it, do, it does transaction validation. So uh, as transactions occur on the B Bitcoin blockchain, nodes also help process those transactions. It can be ran on any computer anywhere. So it, makes them, it helps with decentralization. Zelle and what we did with Flux is we took that a step further and we uh, we didn't just use transactional val validators. We actually use computational nodes. Um, determine, they're called deterministic nodes as well. Um, 
and each one of these layers, so the basic, you have to have you know, a particular uh, amount of RAM, uh, hard drive space, uh, internet access speed, so on and so forth. And for each tier that you step up, it gets ever more increasing. So supers would be um, lots more than what a basic would be. And then our BAMPs, BAMPs um, are our largest uh, tier node and uh, they are the workhorses of the infrastructure and run the majority of our dApps and uh, um, uh, the Flux, Flux OS really utilizes them for high demand uh, resources. Nice. I like BAMPs. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I named I named that. That was kind of cool. Well, Feline yeah. gets a big effing rocket. We get uh, badass. We get bad. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so no. that's a little bit about uh, the node structure. Um, cool. Thank you. Thank you for that. Because um, yeah, a lot of us are not well versed. You know, we this is a community where you know we like to collect things, and and the blockchain thing is second. So it, uh, I appreciate the definitions. Well, the under the underpinnings of what you do is uh, is is supported by uh, the blockchain itself. So it's 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 important to understand fundamentally how how bl the blockchain works and how the nodes help with validation, even if it is a, an Ethereum token or if it's a you know a Zelle asset or whatever the scenario is, a Raven asset. Um, it's it's good to learn that kind of stuff. So I'm glad I can help out with that. So uh, let's go back to our DApps. And uh, we also have a nice little portfolio tracker in here as well. Uh, the cool thing is you can bring any um, any wallet in here. You can bring anything in here you, you need to. Um, uh, in this case, let's say we're gonna select an asset and we're gonna add whale coin. And I'm going to say that I have 20 of them. And you can add record. So now whale is showing up here as well. So you can manually add assets in here in this portfolio tracker, mm -hmm. or you can say, hey, how about this? How about we just import it from Zellcor? And we're gonna select Bitcoin, and we're gonna select the wallet we wanna add and import. And now, well, error obtaining, I think uh, oh, there's something wrong there. It would, it would do them like one by one? uh yeah you could bring them in one by one cool yeah i don't know what's going on there i think there's something wrong uh with the back but anyway long story short is uh you, you yeah you can bring you can bring them in uh individually so this is uh, perfect for the people that like to fake flex on 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 twitter oh <laughs> yeah like go in here and go go <laughs> Five thousand. Yeah, yeah, no, I, <laughs> I am so rich right now. Look at that. That is that is insane. Yeah. Just great. Snap that and post it on Twitter and you're set. I love Zelcor. Yeah. <laughs> So that is Zellcore in a nutshell. Uh, we do have additional settings down here. A couple things we you can change your back end, which um, you need to really be into the space to do that, but you can use it, uh, different explorers in there and all kinds of stuff. Uh, this is uh, a really important piece for anybody that lives in um, anywhere that could be censored. So Zellcor um, is really geared around privacy and decentralization. And we added our proxy servers directly into Zellcor as well. So if you're, say, somewhere like in China, you can come in here and you can select a proxy server. And it will use that proxy server in the U.S. or Amsterdam, London, Singapore, Frankfurt, or Prague. Okay. And I, I, have really to ask, I have to ask if that works on mobile, too. Yes. And, oh, uh, it's not. Nice. Very yes. Good. And uh, to use it on mobile, before you log in, where you put your username or password in, on the mm -hmm. lower right-hand corner, you can select the proxies that you'd like. Okay. Now, the nice thing about Zellcore is the fact that it updates everything for you. So you don't, do, you don't have to do any updates and go searching GitHub repositories for the next update of Zellcore. We push it down to you, you get it. So in this case, this version is version 3.8.0, variety pack. And that, uh, as long as you have this uh, enabled uh, for automatic updates, you'll automatically be able to access whatever it is you need to. 
Uh, another one is this, they call this the old man Dan feature because I complained about this. But <laughs> if, if I get up and I walk away from my desk, I don't really want to leave my Zellcore open for uh, a long period of time. So you I, can, know who to, I know who to blame for that. <laughs> yeah, now you can move it all the way over to never or in my case, 15 minutes and that's good enough for me. Uh, asset management, you can uh, do your private key, you can do a full node backup, you can change the appearance. So we have, uh, this This was my idea as well, and I, it's it's very bright, but you can use it. It's dark mode by nature, but you can flip it to light mode as well. And I want, it's very light, white, <laughs> so I'll keep it over here. Uh, no, but you, you can also- that, Delete that feature. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know who the hell is going to use that, but it sounded like a cool idea when we started doing it. So, um, and you can also change what, what this does. Oh, that changes the background. So you go to the original. We call it the OG background for Zelcor, uh, which is Starry Night. It's, it has has these star stars behind it, which is kind of cool. Brent loves this. This was his idea to bring it back. So this is kind of the OG scenario from from Zelcor. Okay, Brent. Brent is going to start tokenizing his backgrounds. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. There absolutely. you go, Brent. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be on the team soon. <laughs> we're we're going back to the black. I like back to black. So, and you could also change your avatars. And one of the other things about um, Oh, economy mode, uh, if you want to disable all of, if you just want the basics and you want to just, you don't want to see the news aggregation and things like that, you can turn on economy mode and it, 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 you know, it'll speed up the system resources as well. So I like all the bells and whistles, so I don't really care about that. Oh, um, no. uh, the other thing is you can customize your background. Um, uh, you can change your avatars, which... I'm not going to do right now, but you can. So mine is the little Zelcor logo up there, but you could have a picture of your dog, which is, if unless anyone knows. And if, <laughs> oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, if anybody knows me, it's uh, it's it's my dog Dibby, who's who's got his. Actually, if you take a look at here, yeah, Dibby has his own asset, so it's Dibby Coin. Uh, so my dog has has Dibby, and uh, it's Ethereum t token. So uh, we did that for uh, shits and giggles one night. We created it just for fun. I got dibs. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, um, Brent, am I missing anything? Is there anything that you wanted to talk about or show that that I didn't catch in in Zelcor? Uh, maybe talk a bit more about the customizable backgrounds, please. I think they like their art. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the customizable backgrounds are, um, you know, if you haven't, if you have maybe a picture of a nifty that you have or something uh, that you want to add in, and I don't remember where that setting is. Do you remember where it is? Is it under appearance, Brent? Yeah, it should be right there. Mm hmm. Mm, yeah, I think it's the. Somewhere in there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see it, but I know it that we have this, it. This is another great opportunity for NFT. <laughs> yes. So, uh, but but essentially, it would change this whole background. You 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 kind of saw it when I did it, and I changed it to the 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 OG uh, background. Um, but you can use you can use pretty much any any background behind that. Uh, uh, we had somebody do one the other day that had the matrix code. It was a GIF that they put on loop, and the matrix code just kind of came down through their wallet, which was kind of cool. So I thought that was cute. Dan, it showed up uh, when you changed it back to the OG. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, hold on, let me go back. Oh, right there, change background. So yeah, you go in and you 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 select change background and you can make that anything you want. I'm not gonna do it because well, let me see. see if I can find something real quick just to. So we'll do this, and now we should. I just saw an example in chat. Oh, did you? Okay, that's fine. The matrix one. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, yeah so so that that's that's another that's another feature as well. I don't have anything on this computer that I can change it to right now. But if you had if you had artwork that you wanted to put up there, you could definitely do it. Also, when uh, we were mentioning the custom ad ERCs, um, NFTs are accepted, so ERC seven twenty ones can be added via that feature. So you got the Ethereum import. So right there is how you would do it. Dope. So is there any any questions from anybody out there uh, in regards to Zell Zell Core? Let's see, let's see if uh, I think you have a lot of fans. First of all, um, a lot of people are excited about uh, storing their coins in somewhere. A little bit. Well, I guess I guess before that we have to talk a little bit about security and what it means. Um, what what the difference is? Because most of us were brought up with Crypto Kitties and and using MetaMask as our first gateway to to interacting with the Ethereum blockchain. So this kind of goes against completely what we've been engineered to 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 understand and know about uh you know signing in to the blockchain if you can call it that um this this wallet kind of turns that up on its head and gives us an easy name and password so if if you can explain the the difference about that and you know the benefits of using it like that besides that it's easy to remember um and you know just kind of like the breakdown of of security and and the differences of between metamask and this because i think that's the most that we're familiar with um so so you're right it is kind of counterintuitive because we we grew up in the blockchain space with you know private keys and public keys and things like that and multi asset platforms were few and far between you had coinami maybe uh one or two other I mean, jack's wallet was one but they weren't robust and that's where zelcore kind of stepped in and took over and said we're not going to just do um the multi-asset platform we're going to add on all these features as well from a security standpoint it is it is highly secure the username and password combination hash together with salts that are then that then provides you access to your platform is is highly secure um, now keep in mind if you use hello for your username and password one two three four uh you're probably going to get get taken but oh, um yeah. you need to I'll be right user. back i'll be right back <laughs> <laughs> you need you need a a very unique username and a very unique password to protect the wallet the way that it should be okay. so um and it like uh like i said earlier in the conversation it uses a, a, a schema called the higher uh, hierarchical deterministic um wallets and that means that what it does is it actually goes out to the blockchain and brings back the information from each one of these individual individual blockchains into one platform. Okay, so it's not as easy, you know. It's just you know, if it, if it's hello one two three, then it's pretty easy. But as it gets more complicated, it gets incrementally more and more harder. Yeah, we and we have a we have an easy. Uh, we we we've, we've played games before where we've used the easy username and password and had people try to uh, Easter egg it and go out and find it, find the account, um, and and then uh, you know they get to take a little bit of Zell out of there or put a little bit of assets in there and it's kind of a fun game. But what it what it teaches you is you read you really need to. Uh, you need to think long and hard about that username and password because that are that is your funds. So you have to make sure that you're you're uh, guarding those funds with your life. Uh -huh. So that username and password is is very 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 important. Okay. A quick question from Easy and Crypto here. The chat says, "Wait, so our username is different than our screen name?" Uh, the answer to that I think is no. The your username there is no two two things. It's just your username and password. Yes, username and password. Awesome, awesome. Uh, let's see, uh, anyone else have any interesting questions? I know I, I was talking to Brent a little earlier and going back to the NFT heads that we are, um, you know, do, do you see some space for, for our NFT holdings? Do you see um, a little area that, 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 that is for us? <laughs> 
Uh, absolutely. And I think that, you know, as we continue to kind of keep growing and, and, and add in different assets, I think it's important that we, um, um, that we uh, bring in things that are popular in the space. And that is a very popular thing in the space right now. So, you know, it's something that we've looked at in the, in the past and we're going to continue to keep pushing that forward. Ultimately, we want to add um, physical assets and we want to add digital assets. You could see gold and silver as an asset here in Zell or at some particular point in time, you could see nifties, you can see, um, you know, pretty much Anything you can imagine to put on the blockchain, you can see it right here. Okay. Um, I look I, I look forward to that because uh, you know having something that can display uh, your NFTs at the same time as holding them kind of gives us not not maybe not necessarily like a better option than MetaMask, but yes, because they're at least being able to just dis be displayed and easily sent to another user, or you know if you if you add that kind of functionality, that that would be uh dope. Check check it out. Incoming transaction. So my Raven coin has I've received it. So if I flip over to my Raven coin here, it says uh right there yeah. it is nine hundred ninety five Raven that I bought at the beginning. So there you go. Cool, cool. cool. It works, yo. It works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yes, it does. Uh, well, one of the interesting things is like you built a nice, beautiful product. Uh, you know, how, how, how is this sustainable? Like how, how can Zellcore continue to be in the business? You know, how, how, what are the fees like, or where, where is the profit coming from to, to continue to, you know, to, to feed you guys and keep you in business? Well, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Zell is our asset. So, um, you know, we have a foundation that was created to uh, fund the project for about 10 years. Um, it's probably more than that now, but 10 years at the at the bare minimum that we locked into a, a foundation. But we also create rev generation from a listing of assets. So if we have a customized chain, uh, we use um, uh, blockchain as a service. So if you need a dev for your project, you can hire us and we can develop different things, whether it's an explorer or you need uh, an actual asset created, we can do pretty much all of that. So uh, we make a fee as well on our exchanges. So our quick swap exchanges that we talked about earlier, um, right there's our completed transaction. We'll make a fee on that. And it'll. It, um, it, this is a convenience fee really uh, for somebody that wants to exchange quickly. Um, we'll make a little cut of that. So, and the other area where we'll, we'll we continue to rev generate is every single trade that's made on these these different exchanges. There's a percentage of uh, that 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 every single transaction or every single trade that's that's done here will make a little fee off of that. And we actually make that from the exchanges. So the exchanges uh, partnered with us to to basically uh provide um um affiliate programs so each one of these have different levels of affiliate programs so okay so you know more people that that can uh that can use the service and, and store their coins and yep. you know all these good things and i, I think the way that the, the decentralized finance is moving nowadays um the there's a good opportunity to add a few more services here that simplify things for the consumer, but um, uh, amplify revenue, right, for yourself. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, and you know uh, we have quite a bit in our in our plans. We just we we literally just added uh, BitPay, so uh, wait, wait, the... wait, 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 <laughs> BitPay, the the like the, the credit card processing guys. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. There they we meet. We made that announcement, Brent. If you can just kind of toss that up and in general just so they can see it but we added them um i think it was last release uh this 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 release here so yep there so, they we have full bid pay integration into it so theoretically a person not in new york <laughs> can uh go uh, into into zell and buy some whale with a uh, debit or a credit card uh, not yet. Our fiat, our fiat onboarding is in the process now. Oh, so, BitPay as far as um. Okay, I understand now. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a it's a commerce thing. So uh, mm -hmm. it, it works with commerce, commerce. So. Okay. Yep. 
And and do you see a, a Fiat on ramp in 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 the near future? For... Absolutely. So uh, we're in the process of vetting out different Fiat Fiat onboarding. We have partnerships with quite a few different uh, uh, individuals that could provide that on ramp. Obvi obviously, there's some you know logistical pieces in there, regulatory compliance and things like that. So um, you know, I think you'll probably. We 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 targeted quarter three. We're looking at probably closer to quarter four for our fiat on ramp. Awesome. Uh, it, it it's just it, it's it's simplifying things so much for 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 the common folk that want to jump in real quick or have an extra fifty bucks in their sure. in you know like in, yep. in an account that just like oh I see this. This NFT, I keep going back to NFTs because that's what we're most related to, but it could be a, a coin that it's a good price, right? And you have 50 bucks and this is, this is, you know, you keep all your coins here. You can buy more coins there. You can swap them in Uniswap or the most popular decentralized exchanges or centralized. Like if you can do everything here in one stop, like just add Discord, please. Like just add Discord into the Zell well and we'll never And leave. you never leave, yeah. <laughs> uh, one of the things that we are looking at eventually is those social aggregated pieces. So, you know, you I, I know that sounds crazy adding Z, uh, uh, Discord into Zell Corp, but I think there'll be chat features. I think you'll see um, uh, more community engagement pieces and, you know, it's hard to say. You know, you, if uh, Discord has an API, maybe one day you'll see that user interface residing right in Zellcore as well. So, I mean, the sky's the limit. Zellcore is built on JavaScript. So, um, you know, it's not necessarily, uh, it's very open to a lot of different products that are out there. It's not, uh, it, it's kind of common to develop in JavaScript and that is kind of the language of the internet, so to speak. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, you could see, I could see that someday. So not necessarily Discord, but something, something. Okay, okay. Um, uh, it seems like the space that we're in with the social tokens and a little bit more now of decentralized finance are moving more towards this model that you have where you, you can lock or stake or, or kind of like, you know, just hold, hold, hold these coins. And you already have some nice built-in features that that if you hold them, you unlock them. Is there anything cool? Like what else? What else can you do with that? Do you do you have something in the works for that for the people that hold five thousand Zell? Uh, yeah, we're gonna continue to keep adding on to the plus features. Um, I can't give you all the 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 nitty gritty mm -hmm. details, but we have some really good cool stuff planned. Um, uh. Uh, Brent, who is on the call as well, is that's one of his his babies as well. As he continues to keep developing out those, he throws out ideas faster than I can make them become reality. <laughs> I like so, Brent. I like Brent a lot. <laughs> yeah. So if you got a suggestion or an idea, toss it our way, and we'll definitely take a look at it. But because we're always open to adding new things. Perfect. Uh, somebody wants to know what what's the price of one Zell so they can quickly do the math on five thousand. <laughs> it seems like. <laughs> Well, it is, it is, uh, for, it, we charge $4 a month. And so for a year, if you do the math, I got my little calculator here. So four times 12, you're looking at around 48, $50, depending on what it is. Um, you're going to pay obviously more to have the Zelle, but the, the ultimate goal was because you are staking Zelle, that is a, that is a passive, uh, way to, um, to access Zellcore Plus. So it's kind of rewarding the people that are loyal to our community uh, mm -hmm. by providing them with that free service. So, and uh, right now, Zell is at uh, round four cents. Four cents, perfect. Yeah, that's, that's not a bad price. Uh, I, I mean, if you're on the internet in this day and age, 50 to 60 bucks for a lifetime service, that can also appreciate in value is not that bad, especially for something that's gonna like you know, protect your coins and and uh, and give you more features on the spot, all in yep. one. And that's a sliding scale. As the price of Zell increases, then the amount of Zell lockup can decrease as well, and and vice versa. So, uh, I mean, ultimately, what we're trying to do is people keep people um, engaged from the community and give them something back. So, which okay. is nice. Um, I saw a floating question. 
I, I one of the most important things here is security security and I know you can't build too many things too fast onto this because you'll compromise some things but um, things like that browsers are totally out of the question not totally out of the question um, as I as I stated earlier um, because it is a fully encrypted platform uh, the 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 front end the the user interface that uh, that account system um, once it's open, uh, you could, in theory, um, see a DAP browser or something of that nature um, right on Zellcore because it is built in JavaScript and it, it can it can be accessible through uh, Zellcore as well. So okay. it's not not a crazy idea and one that we've talked about in the past. Okay, I'm, I'm, or, I'm there for it. You, you or, got beta testers. <laughs> or better yet. Uh, what it what we can do is we can add a DAP, a decentralized application that maybe runs that and sits right here, boom, and uh, it would run on our decentralized computational network Flux, mm -hmm. and it would be sitting right here in that in that wallet. I like that. So like something in that in that placeholder can say like whale NFT mining, whatever that may be. You know, you yeah. Know, but but it could, it sure. fits there. It fits yep. there. Yep. I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Sky's the limit. <laughs> Perfect. Um, it, you guys seem like you're doing like an amazing job. Um, not just because the the UX is it's, it's it's a beautiful presentation and all that, but your openness to to work with different things and to try different things and not being closed off. You know, of course, things take time and and some things might be harder or costlier than others, but you're there for it. You're there to build it. If somebody wants it and it's accessible to them, you're, you know, like, it seems like it, it, it can happen. And, and that's a beautiful thing to see where people aren't kind of centralized in the head. <laughs> yeah. So um, I big ups to, to, to you guys. Um, absolutely nothing but good things to say about just your interaction with, with, with our community, vice versa, like back and forth has been great. Um, I don't know, man. <laughs> if if you have something else that that you want to add, or something that we should keep our eye uh, eye or ear open to, um, maybe Brent wants to add something, or if we see another good question. Uh, I mean, we have some stuff to give away. Yes, true, true, true. Um, I was thinking we have five Zellcore Plus, right? And those are one year subs, so. Uh, whoever gets it gets one year of Zellcore Plus, and you don't have to do a darn thing. Just put that coupon code in, and you're going to be ready to rock and roll on all the major exchanges. Zellcore Plus, people, $60 value only here. <laughs> Whale Discord. Um, if you are in the chat and you do exclamation point giveaway, that will automatically enter you for a giveaway. You won't get a confirmation, but you will you will have the code added to your Discord name, and that way I can do a random drawing and choose you for the Zellcore um, Plus yearly giveaway. Um, I, we have five of those. I would like to <laughs> do that. Whale shark is dropping a tremendous amount of whale right now. Uh, we, I would like to um, maybe give one of those away now while you're on stream because we're nearing up on the hour mark, and then give the breast away piecemeal as things progress and and people are using it. And if I see that someone comes and said, "Hey, I, I'm really liking this wallet," and you know, I would like to unlock all the features, give them one, or just like you know, with the same thing that you guys are doing, for, like uh, rewarding good participation. So I would like to do that with the rest of them. Um, yeah, let's let's make it ten then. You can do oh, 10. yes, let's do it. Let's do ten. <laughs> let's do ten. I think you have more, uh, way more than ten fans here right now. How many people are on this live stream right now? There's 47 people watching. Wow, uh... <laughs> impressive. All right, then let's we'll kick it up and we'll make it 15. So we get oh. you get 15 of them away. I want to make sure some 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 really good people get some get some good stuff here so i think I'll... so i think i think so um you you as soon as you turned on the the ux and explained a little bit about the features i think you had some instant fans um so okay so we're gonna give three no damn it's 15 so i'm gonna give five of them away really really fast so you have to enter uh exclamation point giveaway and i'm gonna give them 
Okay. I'm gonna do one one by one just so we can get the winner names down, and then um, and then the other ten we'll do in piecemeal, uh, rewarding good good participation. If anybody if anybody gets one of these codes and has problems or or issues, just you can stop by the Zell uh, Discord and we have a great support team. So. Hey, Allegra, we also have uh, some Coiner test pages to give away. Oh, do yeah. Wanna, do you want to say a little bit about coin requests while I set this up, sir? Brent, uh, take or, it. Or Dan. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Brent. All right, so, uh, yeah, we just acquired coin requests about two weeks ago. Um, I pasted it in here a few times. Here, I'll paste it again. But it's um it's kind of a tip page, so uh, it's a personal link print at print.coinrequest.io. Um, you can put all your socials there, put your description, all that stuff, and then uh, you can put your coin links also. So like if you want someone to um, give you I'm show I'm I'm showing it now on on, uh, on the live stream. So this is my this is my Daniel dot uh, coinrequest.io. Um, you can select what cryptos you want. Um, you can put a little uh, bio about your yourself, um, cypherpunk, bitcoiner, shitcoiner, and lover of Zell. Um, you can, and, and what this does is it kind of acts as as, uh, as a Patreon page, uh, you know, without all the BS that you get with Patreon. So let's say um, I want to give Dan some Bitcoin. It'll automatically pull up my Bitcoin address, and you can. Uh, you can see the list of wallets down there that you can use. So you're, everything's already integrated. And in this case, uh, I would use the Zelle core. So let's say I'm going to, I don't want to do it with Bitcoin. Let's do it with Zelle. It's faster. Um, so Zelle cash. And let's say, how much do we want to give Dan? We'll give him 250 Zelle, which is about $10.49. And you're going to go down here. You'll select your payment mode, which is Zelle core. And uh, this will pop up in your Zelle core. You'll say, hey, you've uh, got a payment request of 250 dollars Do you want to do that? And you just hit proceed to pay. And then you'll put your two-factor authentication in. And boom, brings it up, automatically puts my address in, 250 and then you just hit send. Boom, I just sent it to myself. So I just gave myself 250 though. Um, but these pages themselves, uh, uh, these pages themselves, um, uh, you'll get a free uh, uh, personal space that you can come on here. Uh, there's lots of, I mean, there's Seth Estrada does one. It's mine, your biz. Um, Brent, find me that link real quick to his personal page. Um, our bot just banned a lot of people. In... From our Discord, yeah, it seems like our spam dot just went off because so many people joined. Uh, we'll get you all on. It's <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, our Discord Discord API just um, changed, and we're having a bit of issues with it. Well, well, this is the first. This is the first for the whale community. We are now uh, responsible for crashing things. So good job. Good, good, good work, job. guys. Good job. While good we work. wait, while we wait, let's try this first giveaway. If you didn't. Do exclamation giveaway, you might be at a loss. So first winner is bot is loading and he says that the winner is Cozy Creative for the first Zellcore Plus. Cozy Creative, please send me a DM and we'll get that code over to you. Second winner coming right up is 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 Easy in crypto. He said he wanted one of these. So, yo, easy in crypto. Congratulations. It really couldn't have it to a better dude. Congratulations, easy. Let me share your wallet with you, bro. I need that plus. <laughs> All right. Third giveaway is to Master2911. Please DM me to get that Zellcore Plus wallet. We have. Two more codes to go. Dan, are you still here with us? Dan? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Oh. I had a little bit of internet burp there or something. I think you were just crossing your fingers too much to try to win one of these Zellcore Pluses. That's what it was. Oh, I got a lifetime membership, buddy. 
Well, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the perks of being on a team, I guess. <laughs> All right. Our fourth winner is Mac Tui Tui. Congratulations, <laughs> Mac. Hit me up on the DM to claim your code. Um, and we're going to do the last one after, I guess, uh, you guys say your outros and what we can look forward to. And, you know, uh, and you can link that Discord again. Maybe we won't, um, you know, the FBI won't come after us this time. So, um, yeah, just leave us with uh, some parting words and where we can check, uh, you know, your latest news and things like that. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm working on unbanning everyone. <laughs> we we're, we're currently in uh, fire suppression mode, ladies and gentlemen. If you hear some sirens, it's just us working. Can you, can you guys hear me okay? Yep, I hear you perfectly. Okay. Yeah, so uh, again, thank you all for taking the time out of your busy schedules to jump on here tonight to take a look at this. Um, I think over the next several months, we had our biggest month ever uh last month and we i mean there wasn't a day that went by that we didn't have some type of a release on and on different aspects of our project so we look forward to continuing to develop this project out uh you're going to see uh, a lot of really cool stuff especially with uh flux the release of the flux decentralized operating system that it will start to integrate and dApps that'll make their way into zelcore and uh, if you guys have any ideas or feedback or input we're always looking for for good info so uh thank you for having us on we really do appreciate it and uh any any questions you guys have just you can always dm us or before or come over to our discord once it's it's undead and uh you know we can answer <laughs> them there once we come back to life yo then 100 percent, i appreciate you guys uh coming giving us this beautiful walkthrough explaining things in detail i know Okay, it gets a little tedious with the public and, and, and doing this time and time again. I hope that we ask enough questions to kind of break the, the mundaneness of it all. It's um, great. You guys are great. <laughs> you got a great community here. That's thank you, thank I'm you. very impressed. Thank you. I I love them all individually. <laughs> um, Brent, yo, thank you so much. Uh I, I have so much to learn from you. I think every day that that from now on I, I'm gonna talk to you every single day because um, you guys have something special going on over there, and 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 if he's an idea guy, I'm an idea guy. We're, you know, this wallet is going to be Zel Zelcore plus plus. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I, like it. I like it. Uh, gentlemen, I hope to have you back here soon. I want to see some new features implemented. I know these just came out, but you know how you know how this goes. You can't stop now. Yep. You know. No, we can't <laughs> stop. Won't stop. We're in it to win it. So yeah. So you have it. Anything we can add, you guys let us know. 100%. We'll drop drop you a line once that Discord gets active. <laughs> I'll be over there. And um, yeah, man, I'm excited. Thank you for adding uh, our, our whale community token. Uh, I, I really feel that the community is going to embrace it and, and go check it out, especially if we have some you know new security needs. So yeah, guys, check it out. You know, Definitely do your due diligence. Check it out one whale at a time. And Da, 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 and see how it goes and try it out and if you like it you like it so all right with that right. <laughs> guys thank you have a great night yes yes, yes. peace, peace out. out we'll try to keep bringing you some more of these great uh software improvements here in in the blockchain space if you have one or working on one or know of someone with one drop me a line we'll we'll be happy to feature them if somebody's building good something good somebody's making good art somebody's putting out good nfts let us know we'd love to interview them and get them get them out uh, on the spotlight um because i want to know i want to know something good so let us know all right y'all enjoy the rest of your night easy peace out, peace out.